let's just say you had a disadvantage in life. You did not have all your senses. But one particular sense you did not have. Sight. And here comes the word. <laughs> And here comes a question that I ponder. <clears throat> what if that crucial sense of sight is the sense that most people use to deny something? Because you're asking me, you're like, well, I don't see it, so it doesn't exist, right? But let's just put this situation in perspective. So you don't have your sense of sight, right? You can't see. Now, here comes my hypothetical. There's a white room. In this room, there's a chair. Let's just say for the sake of the hypothetical of the situation we're talking about. This chair is in the middle of the room. Uh, you walk into the room. Can you tell me where the chair is? Well, it's in the middle of the room, right? You don't have your sense of sight. You can't see. You're blind. Where's the chair now? I don't know. So you walk into this room. You're blind. You can see the chair. But yet you are looking for somewhere to sit. You know that if <clears throat> you sit on the floor, maybe you don't have the amount of balance or coordination to stand back up due to any kind of factor, maybe an impediment or something. It's much harder for you to get up, such as maybe you, I don't know. Whatever kind of scenario. So you're looking for a chair. It's much easier for you to uh, stand from a chair. Because you can grab into it. You know what I mean? And stand up. So you're looking for a chair. You're not looking to sit on the floor. So. This person is. Uh, looking for a chair. And is blind. This person um, doesn't know where the chair is. Now here comes my question. Due to perspective and everything, right? Mm, people with normal people with people normal people with all their senses, they would say, "Oh, the chair is right there. I'll sit on it." Right. To a person that <clears throat> is blind, the share would not be there for them, right? The share, they can't see it. This person may have a concept of a share for the simple fact that the chair is a solid object in this world. Something that you can perceive with more than just your sight. Okay? So, I ask you 
to that person. I can't see. Does the chair exist? Anyway. I don't know how you're gonna respond to it, but the most common response would be like, yeah, the chair exists. Not only to that person, but to me too. And I can uh I can pretty much confirm it because the person that you're talking about that is blind still has a sense of touch. This person that is blind still can sit on the chair. This person that is blind still can touch the chair. This person that is blind still can bang on the chair, still can see due to the noise it creates what kind of material it is. Because if you bang on metal, it sounds very differently than if you bang on wood. So yeah, this person that cannot see knows what a chair is. So the next question is, taking into consideration our perspectives and words and the meaning of words, which I do believe there the words are nothing more but symbols. It's a conglomerate of symbols uh, put together to create sentences and consequently paragraphs and uh, in, in general to um, convey a message. So we concluded that the chair exists both to you with all your senses and both to this person without the sense of sight, a very crucial sense. Very hard to get around in the world when you can't see. So, ¿qué pasa?